Let us now see how to deal with the case of taxation for capital gains arising on transfer of an asset which is used for scientific research. In one of the earlier videos, you saw that you know any capital gain, any capital expenditure incurred on assets purchased for scientific research is allowed as a deduction in the year in which it is incurred. So effectively, what will happen is Suppose you bought an asset for 100, you will get a deduction of 100 and the return down value for this asset in your books will be 100. Okay? Now let's see, in light of this, let's see. Assets sold without having been used for any other purpose. So you use this asset for scientific research and then you sold it directly. Least of the following shall be charged to hit tax under the head PGPP in the year of sale. Sale proceeds. Let's say you sold it off for 50. Case A, you sold it for 50. Sale proceeds less deduction under section 35. So sale proceeds is how much? 50. Deduction under section 35 is 100. So least of the following two is chargeable under PGBP. So 50 will be charged to tax under the head profits and gains of business and profession. In second case, let's say the sale proceeds is 150. Then the sale proceed is 150. The deduction is 100, so this has to be charged under PGBP, right? This shall apply even if the business is not in existence. So even if you have discontinued this business, doesn't matter, this is chargeable to tax under the head PGBP. Now, but what happens in this case? I mean, you got 150, so the gains that you have made is 150. First, you've paid tax on 100 under the head profits and gains of business and profession. Your income in any case is 100. So what happens to the balance? In the above case, if the sale consideration is greater than the cost of asset, so the sale consideration is 150, your cost of asset was 100. Sale consideration, which is say let's say 150, less indexed cost of acquisition. So let's say this was 100 and the index cost of acquisition is 120. So, index cost of acquisition, 120, difference is 30, shall be charged under the head capital gain. So, this will be capital gain. Got it? In respect of unabsorbed capital expenditure and scientific research, the provision of set-off and carry-forward will apply in the same manner as that of unabsorbed acquisition. And this we have already seen in one of the earlier videos. So, I'm not repeating it. You can go back and refer to that video again as to what is the tax treatment.